Alrighty, so the third variation of the reverse step up is gonna be the Peterson step up. Now the major point of difference for this one is we're starting with a flat foot and we're coming onto our toe before we plant the foot on the floor. So you can see that that heel stays raised and we're relying on the strength of our plantar fascia and our calf stability to be able to control this movement. So we're really starting to build up dorsiflexion, foot stability, and then obviously the VMO activation. So we're trying not to go too far forward. We're trying to get our foot sort of just in front of the plate here. We're coming up onto our toe. We're really feeling that toe drive through the floor, creating stability through the foot. And then we're touching our heel on the floor, sort of pausing for a second and then driving back using that VMO to really stabilize the knee and the hip. Same principle applies for all the reps. You still want to drive the hips forward. Do you want to show them a bad rep of what it might look like from a side angle? So bad rep would be here and then pushing the hips back so that we're now taking all that pressure off the, the quad and we're driving it into a more hip dominant movement. We want to drive the hips up so we have to stabilize and produce force through the anterior side, which is our quads.